Hello, each one. Today, we are going to talk about introduction to mobile application development. The very first topic we will be discussing is, what is Android? Android completely works on Linux kernel architecture. Android consists of some set of software like 1. An operating system 2. Middleware 3. Key application Let us discuss in depth. 1. What is an operating system? The operating system is a software, which is inbuilt in our PC and mobile phones already. 2. Middleware Middleware is nothing but some set of libraries that are written together and these sets of libraries can be used by the developer to develop it or to work on any web application. 3. Key application. It is an application, that which are inbuilt in our system like, cameras, Gmail, SMS. Android is fully based on the Linux kernel, that we will get to know clearly in Android architecture. And the Linux kernel is very stable and it is an open source community and Android is a rich set of APIs. API stands for Android Programming Interface. Now, let's talk about some of the features of the Android operating system. Android operating system features. Let's see it briefly one after the other. 1. Open source. It is nothing but code that is open for everyone. It may be a developer or user. And it can also be modified and used easily. Also it can be changed. 2. Application Framework It is clearly demonstrated in framework activities also let's discuss it in shortly. It generally provides an infra framework for Android application development. It is only for developers, not for users. In this some default libraries are also available such as Wi-Fi Manager, Sensor Manager, which was pre-installed in it. 3. DVM It stands for Dalvik Virtual Machine. DVM is optimized for mobile devices to work on a low power, low memory and low RAM, which was specially designed for mobile application. 4. OpenGLE Libraries It is a library, which is used to display graphics, 3D graphics as such. 5. GPS and Media Formats Androids always support GPS and Media Formats. Media formats are in the form of audio or videos. 6. SQLite Database Android also supports this SQLite database. This database maintains the infrastructure of data that is structured data is maintained in the SQLite database. 7. Android Studio If we want to develop any Android mobile application development, we use this Android Studio. Previously, we have used Eclipse. But now, the database version is Android Studio. In this, the best version are drag and drop components. 8. OHA, it is an open handset alias, which was led by Google. Actually if we want to know about OHA, first we need to know some history about Android. Actually, Android is a company, which was established in 2003. And later in 2005 Google purchased it from the Android company. And it added some more features like, Play Store, Mail Notification and renamed it as Android in 2007. Coming to next is about collaboration between companies. In software companies like, Google, Microsoft all had collaborated with Samsung, LG. Handset manufacturing companies collaborated with Airtel, Vodafone like mobile operators. And semiconductors companies nothing but the software companies, handset manufacturers and mobile operators are collaborating with these semiconductor companies. This semiconductor company is like, Intel. Now let's see the talk on Android architecture. Android architecture. It generally consists of system apps, user apps, Java API format, Android runtime, native C, C++ libraries, hardware abstraction, Linux kernel, Android app. Let's check it out briefly. System apps are inbuilt in our mobile phones like, SMS. User apps are generally which we download from App Store. The Java API framework uses both Kotlin and Java but the platform to develop is Kotlin. Entire Android operating system is defined as the framework for Java API. Android runtime is similar to JVM. That executes our application. Whatever, the application has given it just runs it. And also DVM is also included in it. DVM stands for Dalvik Virtual Machine. Native C++ libraries, these are already inbuilt in our system. 
Hardware abstraction. In this hardware abstraction embedded systems are connected already. Embedded systems are nothing but camera, sensor, and Bluetooth. Linux kernel. This is the main core of an application in Android. It maintains memory management and drives. Diving into another topic is an Android app. Android app. In this Android, it has multiple screens rather than a single screen. In this we use both Java programming and XML. It also uses Android libraries. It is executed in Android runtime. App building blocks. There are four components to build an Android app. They are 1. Resources 2. Components 3. Manifests 4. Build configuration Resources These are user interface components such as layouts, images, strings. Components Components contain attributes, services and helper classes. Manifest It provides information about the Android operating system. Also it can be called as an XML file, which contains all the applications. Build configuration. In this all the files are released in the form of APK. APK are the Android packages. Mobile application framework. In mobile application framework there are 1. Mobile Angular 2. Accelerator Titanium 3. Native Script 4. jQuery Mobile 5. PhoneGap 6. Iconic Let's discuss in brief. 1. Mobile Angular It just makes the Angular bootstrap to build HTML files and hybrid mobile applications are built in it. It also provides easy documentation, mobile components, bootstrap in it. 2. Accelerator Titanium In this, the best thing is code realizability integration, bidirectional, continuous delivery of system. 3. Native Script it creates applications that are completely native. This will be created by using JavaScript. 4. jQuery Mobile It is a touch-optimized framework that can create a cross-browser complement table and jQuery can be used in touch optimization. 5. Phone Gaps It allows to build the mobile application HTML, CSS and JavaScript. 6. Iconic It is an open-source SDK that allows the hybrid desktop and progressive web application. It also contains CLI, command line interface. The features of SDK are 1. IDE, Integrated Development Environment 2. Buildo 3. Tools 4. Rounded Corner API 5. Picture-in-picture -picture improvements 6. Telemetry